And I know I'm sure I look tired. Um, it's just the nature of the job, but I hope I look happy because I am. I really am happy. <laughs> to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Megan Fox, but today I'm making this video for all of you subscribers who have been so kind and have been asking how we're doing and I just thought I'd check in today and let you know what's going on. So before I give you a little update here, um, I just thought I would introduce you to our little son. This is Fletcher Vaughn Fox and we are so proud of him. <laughs> He weighed seven pounds and five ounces, which was almost a pound bigger than my daughter. My daughter was six pounds and seven ounces. Anyway, but he was a week late, so we'll give him a break. <laughs> he's only six days old, so we're still getting to know him, but he's been really good for the most part. Oh, this burp cloth, by the way, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. I got a couple of these from Janelle um, on Instagram. Her little shop is called the Blue Farmhouse Design Company, and you can find her. I'll put her links down below if any of you are in the need for burp cloths. But they are really soft, and they have like terry cloth in the back. By Twitter, I wanted some black and white ones, and she hooked me up. So we're definitely using them around here. He spit up pretty much the second day, but ever since then, he's been pretty good. I'm going to set him down here. First of all, thank you to everyone who was praying. Um, we had a great um, labor and delivery, and I had people praying from over in Europe. Um, and so that made me feel really um, overwhelmed in some ways by all of the support and love that we felt. So thank you so much. Anyway, let's get into this video quickly. I'm not gonna go into my birth story or anything today. I just thought it'd be fun to check in with you guys and just let you know a few things that we've been doing to cope better um, with you know the lack of sleep and a newborn and a toddler and all that, And because I'm sure there's some of you moms out there in the same position as I am, and it's so nice and fun to share tips. So I'm gonna show you a few different random things in this video that we are doing to make things a little bit easier. And the first thing, um, I just heard my mom go outside with my daughter. That's the first thing there, get some help. I have been so blessed to have um, my mom-in-law come over and my mom is here today, my sister's coming tomorrow, and my husband's taking off on Friday for family pictures. So the first week, I'm definitely getting babied a little bit, and it's really, really nice. I think next week is gonna be when it's real, real life hits me, and I realize, wow, this is hard. Um, you know, when they're both crying and you have nobody to help. But I'm at least getting help in the mornings, and then I try to sleep during nap time in the afternoon. Um, but sometimes my body does not let me sleep and I just lay there and I can't sleep even though I'm so tired. Another thing we're doing that is just help, we did this with Ivani as well, but it just so helps to streamline the process of waking and feeding and changing diapers and stuff is, <laughs> you're gonna roll your eyes at me, but we do not wear clothes on our little newborns. Um, we just wrap them up twice in a swaddle and then they're ready to go. That way when you need to change them or anything like that, you don't have to worry about zippers and buttons and things like that. I did that with my daughter just because I felt so bad putting clothing on her. It looked so uncomfortable and whatever else. It was just my thing. I don't know. And my grandma went one day to unwrap her and she was horrified. But you know what? It's so worth it because it makes it so much faster and easier. They're comfortable. Um, we just use a double swaddle. We swaddle them once and swaddle them again. Helps keep his arms in because um, he's very strong. He gets his arms out pretty regularly if you're not really careful with how you wrap him. So if that's something that you think would help, don't worry about what other people think and just keep your baby warm. Of course we put clothing on him anytime we go away or anything like that, but just around the house at home and at night. It just really helps make things easier on a tired mom. Another thing that I did is, actually this is the same day I got home from the hospital, I realized, you know what, mornings are going to be chaotic or like very busy. I, it's going to take all day just to get you know, the day going. So I made, we are definitely egg eaters, me and my daughter in the morning. So I made a whole bunch of egg muffins and put them in the oven. I will put down below the recipe I used or I just kind of did what I did and it tasted amazing. So I'll confidently put it in the description box below if you want to see what I did. But you just grab them, put them in the microwave with a wet paper towel on top and um, then they're ready to go. They're so good, so easy and you're still getting a healthy breakfast without having to stand there and fry eggs in the morning. Um, as far as myself, I'm feeling really, really good. Um, I feel like the second time around, there's, I have to tell myself to slow down because I just feel so good, except for the tiredness, of course. Um, I am pretty tired. I feed him every three hours around the clock, um, and I'll probably do that for at least the first two weeks and then let him kind of decide at night when he wants to wake up. But um, for now, that's what we're doing. And so I get, I do get eight hours of sleep-ish, but it's, un, it's interrupted and you know how that is. So I go to bed when he goes, I go to bed around nine and then I sleep till eight in the morning. My daughter has been doing so good at staying in her bed. She, sometimes she wakes up a little before eight, but I don't hear her. She's quiet in her room reading books and stuff. And so that was something I was so glad we worked on before the baby came to stay in your room, even if you wake up and to be quiet. 
Um, another tip is to get out in a small capacity if you can. It's March, so it's pretty cold around here. Um, I did take a short walk the other day, about 10 minutes, and I felt fine afterwards. And then yesterday I actually got to go, oh my word, one of the mom cliches, right? I went on a Target run, um, and I didn't loiter too long. I was there for like half an hour maybe, but I did pick up a bunch of stuff that we were needing. I love seeing what other people buy when they are at Target or, you know, wherever. So I will include a little Target haul clip right now. I got Mr. Clean Antibacterial Summer Citrus Scent. Um, I have some more natural products, but sometimes you just need a deep clean, and I didn't have anything on hand for that. Also, I got the Target brand uh, Baby Draft. We had run out. And we have been going through a lot of these lately with Ivani going to different babysitters and stuff with having the baby, and so we about were cleaned out. So I got another box of these on the go fruit pouches. She loves them, and they're so portable. Another dozen and a half of eggs. I usually get farm eggs, but we were just about out with the egg muffins I was making. My husband goes through like at least four eggs every morning for breakfast. Also, my husband asked for chocolate syrup. I'm not sure if I should be impressed that he wants to drink chocolate milk um, because he doesn't usually drink milk or if I should be unimpressed because, <laughs> yeah, I know chocolate milk isn't the greatest for you. Um, also, I got another gallon of milk. Guys, make sure you check your dates when you're buying milk. There, this says um, good till 4 7 19. There was stuff in there that was good till 4 1 19, a whole week earlier. So, yeah, make sure you get the fresh stuff. Also, a pack of strawberries. Um, I want to add them to water and some salads and just for fresh eating, and they were a good price. Um, I'm just so ready for real strawberries, though, this summer. Also, um, these, this is great, this is fun. Um, I got a pack of their blue Hershey Kisses. They're mixed with silver and gold. And basically what we do is, when we have company coming over to hold the baby and stuff, um, I like to put chocolate by the hand sanitizer So and then put a little sign in there. Um, that way it reminds them to use hand sanitizer first and then they can have some chocolate. <laughs> um, and it's blue, so that's fun. Also, I got more chapstick. I don't know what happened to all my chapstick. My husband's been using a bunch lately, I guess, with work. And I don't know, I think they're just getting lost. I really don't think I went through all the stuff I had earlier. But this stuff I really like, it works well. It's not the cutest, but it gets the job done. And I got a pack of moleskin little journals. I'm gonna use this for a food journal. Um, I'm not really on a diet or anything, but I feel like I will eat healthier if I have to write it down. Just try to eat healthy, you know, after having a baby and everything. And just a bag of dog food because we were out. So that's everything. I didn't have to go for groceries this week because we were having so many friends and family and church family bringing us meals. It is such a blessing. I don't know if that's like a cultural thing or if you guys have support like that in your area, but take advantage of it. Um, I don't really want people going through my dirty laundry and stuff and you know, helping me with work like that, but it's so nice if they can drop a meal off. Excuse me. Um, I am nursing, so I try to drink a lot of water. Um, let me show you my cup. Um, Today I put in strawberries and lemons. This cup I actually got from Teamy, and it's actually designed to put like loose leaf tea in the bottom, and I've done that already too, but also um, you can put fruit or whatever you want in the bottom, and it has like, here, let me show you. It has like a little filter that keeps the, um, either the loose leaf tea or like the little fruit bits from getting to your mouth, it strains it out. Um, and this cup is so handy. It fits in my cup holder. <sighs> to be honest, this cup makes me feel like I have my life together. I don't know, I just feel like sophisticated or something when I'm drinking out of it. Rather than always screwing a lid off or something like that, I can just open it up and I'm good to go. And I find I'm drinking a lot more water this way. So if you do want one, um, Teamy sells all kinds of like natural herbal teas and like I have a skinny tea in the cupboard from them that I want to try. I haven't tried it yet because I wanted to kind of settle into the whole nursing thing and all that first. But, um... Yeah, if you would like to try anything from Teamy, I have an actual. I actually have a discount code for all my viewers in the description box below if you want to check them out. This is definitely something that's been like attached to me for the last six days. So I think I'm going to put Fletcher in his swing and maybe fold a little laundry. Um, I am trying to take it easy. I'm not the sit around type of person too much. I know I feel kind of wiped out if I'm doing too many things. So I am trying to take it a little bit easy. But I feel like it's important to just say, like, don't judge other moms for if they are sitting around a lot or if they are, you know, more active than you are. Everybody's different. You have to listen to your own body and don't do the whole judgment thing. Um, I know some people think I'm crazy for some of the stuff I'm doing, but I talked to my doctor and she told me how to monitor myself and, you know, make sure I'm not bleeding a lot and stuff like that. Um, and just to listen to my body and do what I feel good doing. And if I feel like I overdid it, then learn from that and don't do it again. Because, yeah, I do want to heal as fast as I can, so I'm ready to go when this warm weather hits because I cannot wait for springtime. 
So it's a little bit later on today and I am trying to figure out what I want to wear for family pictures. We have family pictures to take on Friday. Josh's um, cousin is coming down from like the Hanover York area. Her name is Krista Stalfox and she took um, our maternity pictures and so I know she'll do a good job and so I'm excited about it but I'm trying to figure out what to wear. Um, by the way, if you need a photographer, I'll put her information down below if you're a local. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out what to wear. I think we're going to take some of the pictures in a greenhouse and so I want to keep it pretty neutral because I don't really know what our background's going to look like. Probably a lot of greens, I'm assuming. I'm going to try to stay away from like the whole pansy section and everything. And so I have this sweater on that a bunch of you are asking about from my nursery tour here. I'll set you on the windowsill so you can see better. Anyway, so this is the sweater. I just have a basic black shirt on and the skirt, I don't know if you can see it, but I got it from the Lilac Boutique Company. They sent it to me and it's super comfortable and soft. And it has this really cool, here, can you see it? It has like this really cool like stretchy fabric with like a little bit of design in it. It's just so soft. I think it comes in white too. I really like it. Um, I'll put her stuff down below too. I think she has like a little shop on Etsy. And so I think I'm gonna wear this, but I'm just wondering if it's too much like black and white. Um, hang on. I feel like I could wear this jean skirt instead. Um, and then it would be a little more casual. I don't know, is this super dressy? I love this skirt, I'm gonna be wearing it to church probably. So I'm not sure, anyway. So one of these things I'm probably gonna be wearing. I have to figure it out. And I think I figured out the baby stuff too. So I'm excited about that. But it's gonna be pretty much neutral, I think. And I just like the shirt too, it kind of hides all the fluff. The six day post baby bump. Oh, anyway, but I'm not worried about trying to get rid of it now. Sorry, I'll talk to you up here again. I'm not gonna worry about trying to lose it all now because um, yeah, we're just still trying to adjust to everything and the whole feeding schedule and all that stuff. But um, yeah, I'll probably worry about that. I still have like eight pounds to lose or something. And maybe I'll worry about that after the, what do they call it, like the fourth trimester, you know, after your body settled back in a little bit and family life, you know, you find a new normal. Um, but yeah, I'm not feeling the most confident right now. So this sweater, I feel like it kind of detracts from everything <laughs> anyway. So I hope you feel like this video is worth your time. I just wanted to pop in, say hi, you know, we're still alive here doing great. And yeah, I just feel so blessed that there's so many of you out there that actually take an interest in our little lives. Um, and yeah, I'm going to share more in the future. I'm so glad you're here. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button. That way you know when I have a new video. And speaking of which, I do plan on staying with my Thursday upload schedule for now. Um, I usually upload Mondays once in a while too, so I'll still try to do that if I have time, but family first right now is what I've said, so at least on Thursdays, but maybe sometimes on Mondays if I had a good week and had time to do something. And I know I'm sure I look tired, um, it's just the nature of the job, but I hope I look happy because I am, I really am happy. <laughs> I'm not sure why God gave me such two beautiful children to take care of. I just hope I don't mess them up <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I feel very blessed. I'd like to keep this conversation going. So if you are a seasoned mom or, a, you know, just a little bit more experienced than me, um, leave down in the comments below any tips you had for getting through the first week, first month of a newborn. I know there's lots of moms out there and a lot of my viewers that are in the same stage of life as me that, you know, are in the hard transition at the beginning. And so any advice you have to offer, I'm sure that we would all love to read it and to benefit from each other. I hope that the tips that I shared help you and I'd love to see some more down in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video.